Hi, and welcome to DataHawk. In just five minutes, I'll show you all the great stuff you can do with DataHawk, then tell you how to do it. Let's dive right into it with visualizing the rankings of a product and tracking. The awesome grid you see here shows me how this messenger bag is ranking on Amazon.com for certain keywords I'm monitoring. You can discover some valuable information, including ranks, keyword search volume estimate, and ranking progression. The page rank is the little figure you can see here, while the overall position is the larger one. The cool color signals you see quickly tell me how good the ranks are. The greener, the better. By scrolling down, I can also check out the ranks on a chart, which can always be helpful to spot trends. By moving on to the product metrics tab here, I can check daily changes in reviews, average rating, BSR, buy box price, and estimated monthly sales volume. Now, as an Excel fan, I can also export data to Excel and get a kick-ass report with the summary of the product's performance, its detailed ranking, and its metrics history. With that, I've just shown you the kind of data you get when you track a product on DataHawk. Now, let me show you all the cool stuff you can do when you track a keyword on DataHawk. I'm now looking at the data related to the keyword Leather Messenger Bag for Man, which I'm tracking. First, I get access to a super convenient way of browsing through the products that any Amazon customer would see when searching for that keyword. Check this out. Out of 252 products, it looks like there are only 30 that are priced above $26 and have more than 271 reviews. I'll start tracking those ones in bulk. And while we're at it, I'll start tracking this little guy here as well. Actually, I'll even assign a few texts to that one. Yeah, it's probably a direct competitor, a top performer, but let's say it's also a threat. That way I can leverage those tags when playing around with my filters. Second, I can see how all the products I'm tracking are ranking for this keyword. And third, and this is gold, I can unveil market-related data about this keyword. I know that the average ranking product for this keyword has, gosh, 128 reviews. But more interestingly, ranking at page one for this keyword is a nightmare. Indeed, the average page one product has 409 reviews. Now, you might wonder how you can track a product and access a keyword data on DataHawk. Well, easy peasy. After creating a project, just head over to the product section of the app. Click on add new products to track and enter the Yazins I'd like to track, then hit save and that's it for adding a new product. So what you can see here is a list of all the products I'm tracking, which I can actually group on a parent level as you can see here. If I want to see how that newly tracked product ranks for some keywords I have on mind, well, there's no need for me to specifically assign them to it. No, no, no. Instead, I'll just go to the keyword section here, all right? Click on Add New Keywords to Track button here and enter my target keywords, then hit Save. So the tool will automatically check if the products I'm tracking within my project are ranking for each and every single keyword. I'm tracking within the same project, of course. And voila, you're now well armed to take your Amazon business to the next level with DataHawk.